Yeah, hi, my name is Eitan Zayas. I'm the uh, co-founder and bladesmith for Steelport Knife Company. Uh, we're out of Portland, Oregon. We're 100% uh, US made, US sourced. So everything from our raw material down our boxes are US made. Um, the uh, idea of the company is how do we take a knife that has all the custom features and make it efficiently so we can drop the price, scale up, and um, have just let more people use this style of knife. So uh, we start off with a 52100 carbon steel, then we drop forge it, and we do a differential heat treatment on it. Um, so just the uh, forging part is very unique these days. Uh, as far as I know, we're the only uh, kitchen knife company that is actually forging integral chef knives. Same with the differential heat treat. Uh, we have a uh, 65 Rockwell on the edge, um, 30 Rockwell on the spine for durability, and um, the 65 Rockwell number scares a lot of people away uh, because they think it's going to be uh, too brittle or difficult to sharpen, but we have our own proprietary heat treat. It's a very stable edge, uh, very easy to sharpen, very durable. Uh, we test it by hammering through brass rods and you know get 100 plus cuts off hemp rope to test our heat treat. Um, after grinding, uh, we do a full polish on the blade. Since it is carbon steel, we do our best to make it the least reactive that we can. And then after polishing, uh, we put a uh, coffee patina on it. And uh, the coffee patina is to just give the user a leg up on keeping the knife less reactive, but it's also a um, quality control for us. So after you've ground the knife, you can't see the uh, heat treat anymore. So we need to make sure that we got the line right. And we just think it looks good because it shows off some steel banding, um, grain flow, and just uh, lets the user know that we got the heat treat right as well. Um, the wood that we use is um, Oregon Big Leaf Maple, fully stabilized. Uh, we stabilize everything in house. Um, wood is a, um, nothing looks as good, feels as good as a wooden handle, but it's not a very good material unless you stabilize it fully so it doesn't shrink and swell on you. Um, as far as our knives, uh, this is our current knife line. Uh, we go from uh, parry knives, chef knives, have slicers. Um, my uh, favorite knife that we make is the uh, serrated slicer in the 10 inch. So it has a swoop to it for extra knuckle clearance. Uh, we went with a wavy serration because we find that that's the best thing for um, soft breads and crusty breads and a lot of barbecue guys use this as their brisket knife too. Um, and one of the nice things about working with the U.S. company is that uh, when it comes time to resharpen, uh, we created the serrations so we are able to resharpen it. We just put it on the same serrating wheel and we give you back the fresh edge again, which can't be said. Yeah, so um, we do, uh, again, Oregon uh, Big Leaf Maple. Uh, we're from the Pacific Northwest. We try to use as many Pacific Northwest materials as we can. So we use this as, a, as an example for our uh, stabilizing. So um, this is how we get the wood fresh out of the kiln. So it's uh, bone dry, very light. Uh, we're at 80 grams on this. And then for those of you maybe not familiar with the stabilizing process, uh, we take the wood, we put it in a vacuum chamber with resin, and then we put it under pressure to suck out all the air. And the air gets re removed, and then when you release the pressure, it's gonna absorb all that resin. So uh, it goes from 80 gram to about 150 to 170 grams, and then we bake it hard in an oven. And now it's not gonna shrink or swell on you, it's not gonna move like a regular wooden handle. So it's much more substantial, it looks better, it's easier to polish, and it's a lifetime handle on that. And uh, yeah, so um, one of the, um, you know, the innovations that we have in order to make these knives um, uh, just faster and better, so we switch from freehand forging to drop forging, we switch from uh, buffing to, um, to uh, tumbling. And another thing that we did is that we uh, started using CNC machines to get our tang clean, and then we'll also use a CNC machine to get our handle close to size. And then slots always fit nice. We don't have any gaps. 
we don't have to fill out anything and then we just you know use marine grade epoxy so it holds up to wet co conditions peen it and then we just you know hand sand it down to flush wow. Great stuff. right on thank you it's nice to meet you